Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a problem based on suspension cables. Let us read the question and draw the diagram. A cable AD span of 7 meters is supporting two concentrated loads 10 kN and 20 kN at points B and C which are 2 meter and 5 meter from the left support. This is the left support. So this load is at the distance of 2 meter from the left support. And this load is at the distance of 5 meter from the left support. 5 minus 2, we will get 3. The total span is 7. So 7 minus 5, we will get this length which is 2. Tip of point C is 2 meter. Calculate the support reactions and dip of point B. Also calculate the tension in the cable in different segments. Let us keep the dip in the point B as Y1. Now we are going to find the vertical reactions. First I am going to find VA. For that I am going to take moment about D. VA is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 7. So 7 VA. This load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 5. This load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so it is also negative. For this load the distance is 2. Finally for VA we will get 12.86 kN. Now let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find VB. VA and VB are acting upwards so both of them are positive. These two loads are acting downwards so both of them are negative. Finally for VB we will get 17.14 kN. Now using this formula we can find the horizontal thrust H. In the point C we know the dip 2 meter. Using that we can find the horizontal thrust. In the point C let us find the beam movement. The vertical reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 5. This load is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3. In the point C, Y is 2. Finally, for H, we will get 17.15 kN. Now, let us find the dip Y1. In the point B, let us find the B movement. This reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 2. Just before we have found H which is 17.15. Finally for Y1 we will get 1.5 meter. Now let us find the tension in all of the segments. We know that for all of the segments the horizontal component is the horizontal thrust 17.15. The vertical component for AB is the vertical reaction 12.86. For BC it is 12.86 minus 10 so that we will get 2.86. For CD it is 12.86 minus 10 minus 20 so that we will get minus 17.14. Then using this formula we can find the tension. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.